I have one final loadout for you, and this is probably the best one so far. Itachi has been such a good DLC for heal types that I now have a new main heal type build. I'm not joking, this is not a gimmick. This is such a solid build that this is what I'm running as a heal type in most matches, no matter the game mode I'm getting. And at first glance, it's just super obvious, and it doesn't even look like it synergizes well, but this build, it just does everything. You can solo heal, you can assist in team fights, and even counter defensive options. Let's break it down. Cellular Extraction and Yasaka beats. It is that simple. I run healing tags if I'm solo healing, if not you can run something a bit more aggressive. And as far as substitution and ultimates go, I'm running Itachi stuff because I'm still trying to figure out if they're useful. But if you'd rather run a different sub or ultimate, I think that's totally fine. The matches you're about to watch were all streamed on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Link down below. We've got ourselves a combat battle in the hidden cloud and uh, we're racing to the top to get that scroll. Or at least I am racing to the top to get that scroll. Let me curve this bullet real fast. <laughs> it's just like that movie that everyone knows and no one likes. It's crazy how much this thing tracks. Now the scroll is there, it's me versus the attack type. His team also did not come in for scroll. And it's fine. He's more focused on attacking me. I'm gonna get that scroll. It is a Kirin. Oh my god, the triple. Attack type is the only survivor. We're gonna heal this guy real fast because we are solo healing after all. We cannot let our teammates die. Attack type running away, but it's fine. Don't worry, I have a secret weapon. Check out this tracking. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that actually hit. I don't think it hit the attack type. Uh, if it hit the attack type, he'd be dead. But uh, it probably hit someone else. Attack type focusing me as he should. Healing tag is gonna keep people healed. Crispy not looking very healthy there. I'm gonna try to make my way to him and heal him up. Healing tag coming off of cooldown. Also gonna use that. Okay, keeping the team nice and healthy. Gonna try going for another scroll. The attack type is ahead of me, so I'm gonna try to snipe him here, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't curve that well. It curves very well, it tracks superbly, but you know, it, it doesn't do any magic tricks. Now we're gonna lose one of our teammates because he got uh, stuck in that ninja tool and then got hit by a jutsu. Nothing I could have done there. My jutsu were on cooldown. Maybe they shouldn't not have been on cooldown, but hey, sometimes it is what it is. You know what else is what it is? This tracking. Damn, son. How ridiculous is that? His enemy is ready to be deployed. I deploy it as I get hit by this ninja tool and I'm just gonna go for scroll. If this guy, this range type is chasing me, uh, they'll get rewinded. They're stuck in the loop, they can't. So they'll, they loop right now. Asher also here with this range type, I'm gonna grab the scroll. It is a defensive scroll. We take what we can get. We join back on the team fight and uh, people are attacking my teammate, my attack type. So I'm gonna stun them here, trying to let him survive for a bit longer. And that stun is gonna let Ashura deal some damage as a range type, use the healing tag to keep him up. My uh, jutsu are still disabled. And there's a tandem bomb right next to me, I didn't notice that. But luckily, we have so much healing. Not only are we healing ourselves, we're healing the team. The range type's gonna get hit by the substitution and BAM! Say goodbye. This build does everything. We keep the team up, we get the kill, and now we're free to chase the scroll. The enemy range type is a lot closer, so he's gonna get that no problem. And now we're in a 1v1? Maybe not, he's running away. Guess what? You just can't. It is what it is, mate. Our range type is bleeding down there, Crispy. I jump down immediately to help him with a healing tag and sell it or extraction. He's gonna survive that. And that pit is looking rather attractive right now. That's right. Unfortunately, our teammate also falls down to the pit. No healing could have saved you there. Engaged in a heal type battle. Susano aimed poorly, but mine? Mine doesn't miss. That is very close. Izanami is ready for the second time. Uh, Palm Sage Jutsu is gonna run away. I don't have any ninja tools to interrupt that, so I'd rather join the team fight over here. And I know that heal type will be back. Izanami loops. Can't really find a heal type. But I see a range type in the air, so I am gonna try to stun them. Unfortunately, they don't get stunned and fall down to the pit, as uh, usually happens with the stun jutsu. And please don't judge my wire kunai skills. I'm a half-blind man! The tech type seems to be focusing me now. I have a range type also attacking me from afar. I had to substitute out of there. I uh, thought the Susano was ready for use and it wasn't, it was still on cooldown. A little trick of the eye in this 2v1 is gonna go in their favor. That said, we are very far ahead, one kill to go. I bet my team is gonna get it before I even respawn. Well, I bet my team is gonna get it before I even get there. I'm sure they don't need me, it's just one fight, they're all looking very healthy. Okay, fine, they're not looking healthy anymore, what, what the hell? Please guys, please, survive. 
Heal them all. Okay, they're healthy again. Ashura even tanked the ultimate from this attack type. And this is gonna be our final kill. Eight kills, one death. I'm at the top of the kills leaderboard while healing the entire team. This loadout is insane. Let's move on to the next match. We've got another combat battle, this time in uh, Konoha. Immediately get hit by Tsukuyomi and Yasaka beads. Fortunately, we know how much damage that Tsukuyomi does, so uh, we don't have to worry about it. Gonna go for scroll, range type hits me out of there. Fortunately, Yashiro is still there and he gets to pick it up. Hello, attack type. No, substituting won't help you. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. All right, we've got a big team fight on the streets. Seems to be a 2v3. This attack type is bleeding, but uh, it's still doing work. I think some someone else came in, so now should be a 3v3. This is a bit of an overkill, but since we just got the kill on that attack type, that's gonna give us the numbers advantage. So the rest of the team should be able to pick up the rest of the kills as I go safely for scroll. Crispy though, I'm wondering, should I go heal? Okay, scroll spawned, it is a cooldown scroll. So I'm just gonna take care of this problem. And now I'm gonna heal Crispy. Maybe I should have done it the other way around, who knows? I know, I should have done it the other way around. Keep healing the team and let's focus the heal type. Big damage coming in, the heal type is able to sub out, but we do get the kill and I sub out of that explosion which helps us deal damage to this range type and eventually also get the kill. Attack type is all that remains, Izanami is ready, I am just gonna block for a little bit, there's a range type at the distance, Susano comes off and I had no idea the invulnerability was still active there. The Susano was long gone, but I still went through that fireball, that is insane. I'm pretty sure that fireball hit me, but the Susano invulnerability just saving me there, that's crazy. Gonna grab this scroll for free, it is a speed scroll, not the most useful here in this type of battle, especially since we're all just fighting on the street. Attack type bleeding pretty heavily, this range type falls, the crystal ice mirror is unfortunately not gonna hit anyone, and another attack type joins, so I'm gonna pop his enemy because this seems like a big team fight, I wanna be ready to revive someone, and this range type seems to be AFK, I don't know, it, it did just sub out, so maybe, maybe not fully AFK. Okay, the big team fight continues, gonna heal the team, try to save Ashura here, and I'm just gonna stun everyone that got hit with his enemy, and hopefully Ashura is able to pick up that kill no problem. I'm gonna focus on this attack type instead. I'm half blind, but I, I think it's going well because the attack type is running away. Attack type runs away from a half blind old man. Asher picks up the kill with his exploding birds and I'm able to move freely to get the scroll. The enemy is on me triggers here, putting me closer to the team fight, which could have been good for me, but I do not reach it in time to heal my teammates. So unfortunately, we're down two players here. I definitely should not have gone for scroll. That is not my job as the heal type. My substitution is gonna pick up the kill on their heal type here. But I'm getting juggled by this attack type and things are not looking great. I'm just stalling for time at this point. Point blank majestic fireball, but it's okay. My team has arrived, Susano to protect me, and we grab that final kill. Five kills, once again, top of the leaderboards. I do regret going for scroll in that moment because I could have saved those two teammates. But other than that, I feel like that game went flawlessly. Final game of the day, for the sake of variety, let's show a base battle here in the hidden rain. We're gonna cap A as usual and we're gonna move towards C and no enemies in sight. Okay, no, they're they're all here, no one disconnected. I guess all enemies went towards B and Naoko, our attack type, is now bleeding because he's probably on 1v4. Honestly, kind of good on him. Good, good on him for surviving this long. I have to sub out there and I'm gonna reach our attack type in time. Man, he had one pixel of health, but we do get him and now the team is behind me. I do activate Susano here, but he gets interrupted before it even comes off. So I'm kind of weakened, I'm gonna throw my healing tag, my goal here is to heal as much as possible because our attack type is still bleeding from that 1v4. And now so am I, because uh, the team has appropriately switched their attention towards me, so I can actually stop healing the team, because this is a big turning point in this team fight. I'm able to survive, I'm able to keep my team alive, and we're able to cap B. Success on all fronts. Now at this point I had to leave B behind because their heal type has switched their focus to C, and I'm not about to lose that point for free. You want it, you have to fight for it. Now this heal type is gonna heal, obviously. This fight is gonna go forever, but Ashura has arrived. The wrench type into Susano combo is devastating. That is so much damage. This heal type is bleeding quite hard. Good heavy attack though, breaking my guard, but it is now a 3v2. Here comes Naruto though, disabling me for a bit longer. I'm still okay, I'm still doing okay here, but this Boruto with an ultimate. Yeah, there was just no surviving that. Plus the Vapor Fog. 
Very well played by the enemy team here. That said, we held on to two points. I mean, we did lose C. I'm gonna make my way to Crispy, trying to save him. And nope. Okay, he's dead. Gonna move back to A, maybe B. Asher is bleeding, so that looks like a good place to go as a heal type. Asher moves closer, gets fully healed. We're good. And moving back to A, we cannot give that away for free. Activate Izanami on the way there. There's a heal type and a range type. We're gonna activate our Susano. And for some reason, that range type was not hit. What are all these ninja tools right here? Oh, I see. That's a hacker. <laughs> Can activate Izanami here. This is a fun effect, by the way. <laughs> As we inevitably fall down to the hacker, but... Tell you what, guys, this build is so powerful that I'm still confident we're gonna win, even though this man turned the hacks on. Asher captures A, but now I'm gonna start calling the shots. I see the range type hacker moving towards A. I'm just gonna give him the point. Don't care. No, you take it. We have two points right now. There's a heal type moving on towards B. So we need to protect that. Big Yasaka beads are gonna knock me around, but this is gonna completely whiff for some reason no matter heal type i still got a guard break so knock him off the point asher is there to protect it i'm free to move on to c now if we get c we win the game and there's no hack that can save you c is uncontested the heal type adjusts really well throws the yasaka beads but it is too late and don't you worry guys this hacker has been reported because bandai namco now has a website where you can report this kind of stuff and i highly encourage you to do that because they are actually banning accounts there are modding there are hacking there were Working on a more permanent solution that doesn't allow that at all, but for now, you can actually report it and those accounts will get banned. Make sure to grab their PSN ID, their in-game name, and have video or screenshot footage of the hack. And as far as this loadout goes, it has very good healing. You can solo heal with this build. It has good support damage, and what I mean by that is you can help in team fights. You're not gonna be chasing solo kills most of the time, but in a team fight, you deal hell a lot of damage. The Yasaka beats counter barriers like the water pillar or sand shield, so it's also a good counter tool. and it is also a defensive option, which is something that heal types always need. It's something that says, get away from me, I need to heal my team, I need one second to breathe, and the Susano does that. I can't really think of any cons, except these Jutsu are gonna get nerfed for sure. That's it, that's the only con I can think of right now. In the end, I'm probably gonna run this build with a different substitution for sure. I think the cooldown on the exploding sub is way too long for heal types, who often get focused by the enemy team. And the ultimate might be the one thing that I will change depending on the game mode. But my god, with these two Jutsu, I just feel like I can do everything as a heal type. And with the Itachi review and these three video loadouts, I feel like we've covered the Itachi DLC pretty extensively. I hope you like this new type of coverage. It was fun experimenting and hearing some of your ideas for loadouts in the comments too. But for now, that's gonna do it for Shinobi Striker until the next DLC. Which, speaking of, who do you think that's gonna be? We know that the last one is Kawaki, but who do you think is the fourth DLC character? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!